and welcome to your favourite teacher. This paper is all about reading and showing that you understand what the writer is trying to say and do. So what's the difference? Explicit is clear or straightforward. It's what the text actually says. You can identify an explicit meaning by finding the key words or phrase in an article and extracting it, lifting it out. Implicit is a bit harder. Here you aren't looking for what it says, but you're looking for what it really means. Let's look at an example. Maria's sweaty hands shook. She folded the edges of her notes into tiny tight triangles. She tiptoed towards the stage, heart beating rapidly. Let's extract something explicit. For example, what did Maria do with her notes? A good way to approach a question like this is to scan. It's basically like doing a Google search for a keyword to find the right section. In this question, it's asked you to scan for the word notes. Here, our text is only one sentence, but it will help when you're looking at the whole extract. So now I can see the word notes. All I have to do is lift out what she did with the notes. The extract says she folded the edges of her notes. So I can say she folded them up, she folded them over, or she folded them into triangles. I'm going to use the words from the extract and use the whole sentence to make sure I give enough detail for the examiner. Okay, now let's look for something implicit. How was Maria feeling? The extract doesn't tell you explicitly, you're going to have to look for hints. So. If your hands are sweaty and shaking, how are you feeling? This is the bit where students get a bit mixed up because one part of the story isn't always enough. Her hands might be sweaty because it's a hot day or because she was exercising. However, in this case, that's probably not right because it doesn't match the other clues. When looking for implicit meanings, it's good to look for two or three clues that all line up. So in this example, her hands were sweaty and shaking. She was folding up her notes. She was tiptoeing, not jogging or skipping to the stage. Her heart was beating rapidly. I think the best implicit meaning here is that she was nervous or scared. That makes sense with all of the clues that we have. So it's the best analysis. Sometimes for a question like this, you might be asked about one specific word and what it implies. Implies just means implicit, so hinted information. So let's look at that kind of question. The writer uses the word tiptoeing. What does this imply about Maria? I would start by rereading the sentence again. I would then switch it out with a synonym, another word to mean the same thing, and see how it changes the meaning. For example, she skipped towards the stage. This sounds to me like she was happy or excited to be on stage. It's very different to tiptoeing. That's normally something you do when you're scared, trying to hide or go unnoticed. So that's my answer. The writer describes Maria as tiptoeing to make it seem as if she's scared or doesn't want to go onto the stage. In your reading exam, you'll also be asked to find explicit information and decide if it's positive or negative. The information will be explicit, but you've got to decide if it's positive or negative using your own judgment. Now, I'm going to give you some exam style questions from your reading paper. Read source A, the one about careers in the building industry, and then tackle the quiz to complete this lesson. Good luck! I'm Miss Meeks, and you've been learning about explicit and implicit meanings with your favourite teacher. <laughs>